everybody, I'm Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts. Skinny, could you not? I'm here today with a favorites video and I'm really excited. I've compiled this list over like the last two months and I've got some really good things. I love to do these videos. So please stick around and watch. <laughs> Okay, I am here. It is a Saturday. My kids are home. My cats are here and we're gonna do this. <laughs> so I have to first of all start by saying a gigantic thank you to Dossier. Uh, they wanted to partner with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I have no words. I mean, it, this is surprising for many reasons, not the least of which the first time I tried to film this, I had to scrap the entire video because I had my finger in my ear the entire time. So even garbage people <laughs> can smell nice too, even trolls like me. <laughs> so no, honestly, I tried Dossier in November. You guys know I did a video uh, where they sent me a fragrance to try and I did the the Mademoiselle, Chanel Mademoiselle, um, not a dupe, they are, <clears throat> what do they call them? I'm gonna say this wrong. Um, luxury inspired fragrances. That's the phrase I was looking for because <clears throat> they are taking luxury fragrances that are typically like $200, $150, really expensive, like Chanel and Givenchy and um, Diptyque is a new brand that they just started doing, doing fragrances that smell almost like, I can't, I can't tell the difference, you guys, and I've worn some of these perfumes for a long, long time, and I can't tell the difference. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got me mucus. Trash <clears throat> person! Um, they are offering you these fragrances at a literal, like, teeny weeny peeny fraction of the price. So this Woody Hyacinth is, um, it is a luxury inspired fragrance um, sh inspired by Chanel Chance. That's fatty at the door. I wore Chanel Chance. Oh, you guys, I love perfume so much. I, I just wish that I hope this comes across as sincere as I feel because this is not a cash grab for me. Perfume is one of those things that has always been really, I don't know the right word. It's not emotional, but it is on some level. I mean, it's one of those things that I've always loved, even as like a small child. Um, yeah, it's just so many weird memories. I mean, when I smell red door, I always think of my grandma. Chanel number five. I totally think of my mom. Excuse me. Let me let in this fat lard. Come on. So now we've got two cats in this room and me trying to pretend like I'm a classy lady. So here we go. Um, what was I saying? Like I can't smell any sort of sweet apple scent without thinking of Bath and Body Works Country Apple. That was the eighth grade locker room in my junior high school. And God, what else? I, I can't even tell you. If I ever smell Ralph by Ralph Lauren, I am immediately in my best friend's Jeep driving around in the summer of junior year listening to the Dixie Chicks. When I smell Coco Mademoiselle, it's my wedding and college. I wore that all throughout college, um, pretty much all throughout college. Chanel Chance. Uh, was also through college, but then a little bit later, kind of when I started working, um, because it was a little bit like fresher, I could be a little bit less, um, it was a little more subtle. Seventh grade summer camp, Allison was in my bunk, and you guys, this was Catholic youth camp, my first sleepaway camp. My mom let me shave my legs with an electric razor for the first time before I went to camp. I was so pumped. I, I was gonna go and it was gonna be the best week of my entire life. Allison was in my bunk and she liked to wear Love's Baby Soft. And the night before that dance, 
she convinced me to let her borrow my limited to outfit that my mom had bought me, especially for camp. It was my favorite thing. I still remember this outfit. It was pastel floral jean shorts and a pastel floral jean jacket, and it had a yellow tank top that went underneath. And it was from the limited two, which automatically made it the coolest thing that I had ever owned in my entire life. And I was going into seventh grade and Allison, stranger to me prior to camp, was going into eighth grade. So, I mean, she was automatically like beautiful and cool. And she was like, hey, I like that outfit. And me being like a 12 year old turd was like, oh, you can wear it. Why did I do that? It was my favorite thing. And she took it and she laid it on her bed her bottom bunk because it wasn't cool to sleep in the top bunk and she sprayed it with Love's Baby Soft for like a solid five minutes and everyone in the bunk just watched. It was like like a mean girl in real life. <laughs> yeah, sprayed it with Love's Baby Soft and she wore it. She wore it to the dance and as I walked in she was sitting next to the cutest boy in camp on the bench in going into the like cafeteria where we would eat. And I just knew I'd made the biggest mistake of my life. I mean, I was headed to the canteen window to buy candy and she was sitting with the cutest boy on the bench. Yeah, loves baby soft. Also, the reason to this day I cannot listen to Blues Traveler run around without thinking of that and Seal's Kiss from a Rose. So it was a formative moment. Scent, scent based. <clears throat> so anyways, um, I had tried the Chanel Mademoiselle. See, do you wonder why they wanted to partner with me? I do, I really do. <laughs> but at, at any rate, I have loved the Mademoiselle that I got in November. I wear it regularly, regularly. And it was, well, they gifted me that fragrance, but it's $29. And regularly, that's like $150, $175, depending on the size of bottle you buy. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. And I love perfumes so much, and there's so many that I want to try, that now I can, because it's $29. And they've got deals where if you buy like three or more like they become cheaper there's a discount and i literally i love them you guys um when they asked if i wanted to be a brand ambassador for the next three months i i was like sincerely yes i honestly do because being able to try all of these really cool scents that i've always been interested in without paying that like luxury tax price by saying oh this is chanel or whatever it is, you know, <clears throat> Joe Malone, Tom Ford, all of the really, really expensive brands. Um, I'm, I'm 100% DTF. I got to pick out a couple more fragrances and I picked the, um, one of them I'm going to keep secret for next month. I'll tell you about it, but I picked the floral aldehydes, which is the inspired fragrance of Chanel number no. five. I was going to get my mom at this as one of her Christmas presents. And then they were sold out of it until the beginning of January. So I could only just now get it. And I'm so excited. I'm going to give it to her for Valentine's day. You guys, it smells so good. I can't even tell you like, this is my mom and someone's snow blowing. I'm sorry. But the coolest thing, I mean, there's so many cool things, but do you get this little travel size bottle that they send along with your big bottle? And the point of this is to try the fragrance and make sure that you like it before you open this big bottle. And if you don't, you send it back for a complete refund. Like they're not looking to take your money. Um, if you don't like this, and there's a fair amount of fragrance in here. I mean, honestly, it's like a, sam a nice sample. So you can make sure that you like it before you break into this big 50 mil bottle. Um, or just send it back. Like it's, it's so cool. It's so flipping cool, you guys. So there's no risk in this. Um, and all the reward of smelling like a damn dream. So I'm so excited to give that to my mom. 
that was her Chanel number five. And then I got the uh, Chanel Chance, which I told you in a very roundabout way I used to wear. And I still have the bottle with just like the dregs left in it. Oh, oh my God, you guys, it's so good. It's like that fresh sort of a little bit powdery. I can't even describe Chance to you. It's so good though. The top notes are hyacinth, lemon, pineapple, middle, jasmine, pink pepper, and patchouli. I love patchouli. Base, vanilla, vetiver, and orris. I'm really sorry for that noise. It's really bugging me. So at any rate, I absolutely love these. I think they are so good. And I'm going to have a coupon code linked below. It's Emilu10 and then a... Um, computer thing, a link so that you can go to the website and you can look at all of them um, and then buy them because you would be crazy not to. They smell so damn good. Yeah, this is legit for me. This is not just like, hey, do you want to try this? And I'm like, oh, sure. It's like, yeah, I, I love these things. <laughs> so anyways, that's 13 minutes into the video and that's my first favorite <laughs> dossier so check it out you guys I'm I highly recommend it and then okay so now what am I going into I got some random things here um I'll start with this <laughs> it's a head scrubber <laughs> that I bought on Amazon um a hair scalp massage shampoo brush and um, when I got my hair colored, um, I, or I got my highlights redid, it allowed me to become even more of a troll and wash my hair even less often uh, because the blonde camouflages the grease. So I use a lot of dry shampoo and when it was time to wash my hair, like every six days, um, I really needed to like be able to get in there and like get my scalp and it feels so good. Huh. This was like six bucks on Amazon. Oh Lord, I've never tried it on a dry head before. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it kind of gives you some volume too, does it? Oh, no, 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 wouldn't recommend doing that before you gotta go somewhere, maybe. But I love it. It's got like these little silicone nubbies on it. And uh, I read somewhere that you have to massage your scalp for something like three minutes with your shampoo to really get like all of the buildup if you use a lot of product like broken down. So I love this. I think it's super cool and it was cheap. Um, yeah. Oh, now I kind of just want to sit here and scratch my head. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so hoarse. I'm a horse. As well as perfume, I really love makeup and face stuff. And I've been searching for um, like a nighttime cream, a night cream. <laughs> oh, I sound so old. Um, I wanted a night cream that was heavy, but not uh, too heavy. Um, because my eyes, my eyelids were getting scaly because they were so dry and I was using, oh, I think I was using the same thing that I was using during the day that I was at night and I just saw this in Walgreens um, and this has nothing to do with the fact that I think they just came out with some of these lines because I've seen a lot of bloggers, vloggers, beauty YouTubers pushing Olay lately so this might be new um, but they're not paying me. That, that shit's for sure. I mean, they can. I love Olay Regenerist. But this is the Night Recovery Cream Fragrance Free. This stuff is bomb. I love it. There's a cat hair in it. God damn, you're gross, Emily. Literally fragrance free. And it is the most beautiful texture. It moisturizes my skin and makes it feel like a porcelain infant. I I love this. 
and it's not heavy, too heavy to where I couldn't wear it during the day. I could totally wear it during the day. It just doesn't have any sunscreen in it. And I think they make a collagen peptide one um, that is like new in this sort of line that I'm going to buy for the daytime because I, I, this is how much I love this one. Um, and my eyelids aren't scaly. They would get scaly right in here. And it wasn't like my, my normal gross eczema. Like I know some people get eczema on their eyelids. This wasn't it. This was just dry. And, um, I used like plain CeraVe. I used everything and it wasn't helping this, but it's good. We good now. We good. Um, and then, uh, when I took you guys to Target with me, I ended up buying this NYX Bear With Me Sunscreen Daily Moisturizing Primer with cannabis sativa seed oil. I'm hip. I'm young. Cannabis. Um, <laughs> broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love this. I love this. I did not, I didn't think this would be the favorite of the things that I bought, but it hands down is. Um, I have a Olay daily, like daytime lotion that had SPF in it that I was using, but it was making my makeup, like if I would wear makeup, the rare occasions sit kind of funny on top of it. And I don't know why, but this is so, so good. You guys, oh my goodness. It is, it doesn't smell sunscreeny. It's not thick like sunscreen. It's really moisturizing and super luminous. Do you see that? Like it's not marketed as like a luminous primer, but man, it makes you look so fresh, really fresh. Oh, it's, it's damn good. It really is. Um, I've been using it as a daytime lotion. Like before, even if I don't put on makeup, this is what I put on because I love it. Uh, it's has a, kind of herbal scent, but nothing like that doesn't smell natural. It's not perfumey. It just smells, it smells really good. I don't know. <laughs> I really love this. So I'll link all this stuff below if I can find it, but, um, I'm a huge fan. And the fact that it has SPF 30 is really cool. It's really cool. And it's really, it sinks in and it just makes my Oh, it, 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 it's like porcelain infant here. Not that I look like that, but it's always the goal. Um, and then I bought the elf brow stuff, the wow brow when you were with me at Target. And I really like it. I got the color neutral brown and brows are a very personal thing. You know, I have used tons of brow pencils, but, um, sometimes if you get a light brown, they lean very red. And this is very, I would say, true neutral brown. And there's little like, hair-like things in it that kind of spruce up your natural brow. Like, I, you can't see that. What the hell? But there is. There's like little fibers, but they don't look gross. They look like, they look like they shaved a person's eyebrows and put the hair in this tube but in a good way <laughs> so that you can put it on your hair. <laughs> oh, I wears the skins. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um, I love it. <laughs> I really like it. And like I said, brows are a personal thing, but I, I mean, I've got, I was scarred from 2005. So I, it takes a lot for me to pluck my brows because I'm afraid of having that anorexic comma on my head again. Um, so I have pretty decent brows and these just hold them in place and sort of give them a little bit of a zhuzh with my um, donor eyebrow hair. <laughs> no, it's not real eyebrow hair. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, like I said, you may hate this and think you've got squirrels on your face. It's, it's what I like. Like I said, 2005 scarred me and I like a big brow now. I like a bushy brow. Um, and this blush is, um, nude. 
<laughs> it's Maybelline Fit Me Nude Blush. I um, got this when I went to Ulta to get dry shampoo. <laughs> um, I saw this blush and I, I love it. It's not too um, peach and it's not too pink. It's nude but in a really nice way. It's a nice nude. Send nudes. <laughs> it's a really nice nude because I, um, peach is, is a hard color for me to wear. Uh, I do it for better or worse. Um, and real, I, I tend to like more pinky blushes. Um, but this is just somewhere toes the line right in the middle. And I, I love it. And it is a super nice daytime color that is like a barely there, like, I'm not dead. Look at me. Um, and I think that's what we're all going for, right? Um, what else? Okay. <laughs> I have a 10 and a half year old boy. And I'm not saying he smells because I we make him shower every day. Um, he doesn't smell but his room has a smell. It's not a B.O. smell. It's, it's just a, a smell of boy. I, I don't even know what the smell is, but I knew I wanted to do something about it. And um, <laughs> I saw this at Target, the Febreze Fabric Wood scent, Amber Oud and Cedar Fabric Refresher. <sighs> it's nice, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I can't get on totally on board with a regular Febreze. When I smell regular Febreze, I just think of college. My freshman year roommate, Lindsay, was not a laundry fan. She was a bar fan and she was a Febreze fan. Um, so there was a lot of smoke covered with Febreze. <laughs> and um, I like this better. <laughs> This is really nice. Uh, and I just have sprayed it everywhere. <laughs> um, it's just, it smells a little Febreze-like, but a little bit amber oud and cedary. And it takes a little bit of the 10-year-old boy smell out of his room. I don't know. Sometimes I just go in and I'm like, he's clean, I swear. It's just, it, it must be a boy thing. Um, this is also the kid that every night when I tuck him in, he asks me if I want to feel his foot grease. So, yeah. Uh, what's next? If I don't get more sponsorships out of this, mentioning foot grease and someone's product in the same video, sure to get me more, more people, right? So for Christmas, my mom asked me what I wanted and I was like, literally, I want a new mattress pad. <laughs> if that is not like saying, hello, I am middle-aged. <laughs> my name is Emily and I'm almost 40. I would like a new mattress pad for Christmas. Uh, no, honest to God, they're expensive. A king size mattress pad is not cheap and it's not something I want to spend my money on. I want to spend my money on perfume and blush. <laughs> so I was like, I would really like a new mattress pad because I'm a sweaty beast. And for some reason, the mattress pad that we have is exacerbating my sweatiness. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because when we bought our new mattress, they said, you need to buy a mattress pad to protect it. Um, you can buy this very expensive one or this very, very cheap one. Which one would you like? I mean, I knew I needed a mattress pad. I, I'm not an animal, but of course I picked the cheap one because I'm cheap. And um, it's, it was kind of plasticky. <laughs> it was just, it's not sexy. It was not sexy. Uh, and so, this is what she got me for Christmas. She did the research. I think she got this on Amazon. Sleep Zone 
I don't, I have no idea, but I said, I would like a cooling mattress pad. If that such a thing exists, something that helps sweaty people not be so sweaty. And, um, I just get hot when I sleep. And, um, so this is what she got me. And I will be damned if this did not make my bed somehow a thousand times more comfortable, less sweaty. It's wizardry, it's magic. And if you need a new mattress pad, I, I love this mattress pad. So I will link it below. I'm not sure where she got it. It says www.sleepzonelife.com. I've washed it a thousand times, not a thousand. I've washed it like twice since Christmas. <laughs> but um, I love it. And I'm not lying. It is really padded, but not hot. It made my bed even more comfortable. The bed that I can't get out of originally is even harder for me to get out of now. So uh, it's fantastic. And I can't recommend it highly enough. So how's that for a random purchase? Um, and the last thing that I have, you guys, is a book. And I've been so excited to tell you guys about this. Um, I don't have the actual book. I have it on Kindle. So I'm trying to pull it up here. Um, because you know this journey of self-discovery I've been on um, has been really cool. And I like reading self-help books or uh, like self discovery books. Um, and I had read in, um, I don't know what it was. It might've been like a little blurb down on CNN entertainment or something like that. Um, that see, it was probably us weekly. It probably was not CNN. <laughs> okay. Um, whatever I am who I am. Uh, anyway, who, what am I? Uh, Blower. John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Um, she had um, stopped drinking, apparently. I mean, she never had a drinking. I mean, I, I think that she didn't say she had a drinking problem, but she was just tired of um, feeling bad, I guess, uh, for no, because of drinking. Like, um, and she said that she read this book, Quit Like a Wim Quit, Quit Like a Woman, The Radical Choice to Not Drink in a Culture Obsessed with Alcohol by Holly Whitaker. That's the cover of the book. Um, and in the little blurb, she said, I haven't drank in over a year. And I think she said something to the effect of my point in reading this was not really to quit drinking, but I mean, I was interested in the, the book and everything, but it was such an eye opener. And it's like one of those things where you read it and you can't unknow the knowledge in it after you've read it. You know what I'm, it's kind of, oh, I, I, I don't even know. I can't describe it, but it's one of, she said, I would recommend this book to anyone, even if you, um, don't drink or you have other struggles in your life, like um, anything that is you're struggling with, this is a really good book, a really good book. And for so many reasons, I can't even begin to describe um, this girl, Holly, um, was had a problem with alcohol. And she was trying to quit through all of the um, prescribed methods like AA and everything else. And this is her journey of discovering what was right for her in quitting and how she actually quit and why, why. And um, it is the most thought provoking book I've ever read, I think. I absolutely, love it. I, I love this book. And it has really opened my eyes um, to examine my own relationship with alcohol. Um, and just the whole idea of it in general. 
and the whole um, marketing of it is is really fascinating you guys I like I said you once you read it you can't unknow you can't unknow it like it's it will open your eyes to things that you have not thought about and she goes about it um, from a perspective that is um, more for people that are not white men, really. Um, there's, um, you know, underrepresented people uh, maybe need a different approach. Uh, that's hard to say. I, it's so hard to describe. All I can say is read the book. It's, I, I can't say that I, I not that I, I can't identify with everything in the book, but it has really, really made me think. And for that reason, it's fantastic and really made me adopt some new thoughts and focuses in my life. And just her approach to um, to quitting and creating a life that is uh, something that you're not looking for an escape from, whether that escape is spending money or drinking or smoking pot or, you know, uh, eating food, sugar, um, you know, creating a life that you don't need to escape from um, and doing that in a way that feels true to you and is not driven by patriarchy. <laughs> Sounds very feminist of me. There is a feminist like bend in this book um, that is, is uh, really interesting and just something that I've never thought of in that way and really eye-opening. So I, I can't recommend it enough. I really cannot. It, it's been fantastic. Um, and it's something that I'm going to reread when I'm done, along with um, another book, too, that's um, more about, like, food addiction. This book is called Chasing Cupcakes, and I read it a long time ago. Well, like, about a year ago, maybe? Or maybe that was just in April. It just seems like 12 years ago. Um, and it was a fantastic book as well. But um, this is... I'll talk more about it in another video, I'm sure, um, because I'm adopting a lot of the just whole life enriching things that um, really spoke to me through her book. So stop talking, Emily. You have been talking for over a half an hour. All right, I think I'm done. So with that, I hope that you guys um, enjoyed this favorites video. I love doing these. And if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will link the things that I can find below. If it's an Amazon link, I do get a small commission. Um, I have an Amazon, Amazon affiliate link. Um, I don't, it doesn't cost you more. It just makes me a little bit of money for my channel. So um, thank you for watching. And thank you again to Dossier for wanting to partner with me for the next couple of months. I hope you guys check out their website um, and use my coupon code. Uh, Emilu10 if you want to try out any of their products because they're good you guys it's perfect gift perfect gifting material um perfect gifting material to yourself from yourself <laughs> so with that I am going to say have a great day and thanks for watching bye